This is Jim Nalen, liturgical guitarist. I'm going to share my arrangement of How Great Thou Art. Um, two things before I play it. You'll notice on the score exchange site the sheet music is called Swedish Folk Song. The, mu the melody is, is taken from a traditional Swedish folk song, so that's why I did that, and so I could post it there and avoid copyright problems. The other thing is that and the second measure on the second line be second half of measure four. Um, it's written A major chord all the way across. Second half of that chord I'm gonna, or measure I'm gonna play at E7. <coughs> okay. How great thou art. Page two. Okay, so <clears throat> let's start from the top. Again, the timing on this is going to be a little different than if you were uh, leading your congregation. The nice thing about this being arranged in A is it's just a half step below the key it's usually written in in the hymnal. It's usually done in uh, B flat. <clears throat> so, which means the high note you have to sing is, is usually an E flat. Um, and uh, it's a good key for me as a baritone. I can hit that D consistently. On a good day, I can hit the E flat. But it's it's also in the key that you sing. The difference is playing it as an instrumental. You play it with a little different. I play it with a little different timing than I would sing it. If leading the congregation, it would be, Oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all. Worlds thy hands have made. You have to keep it even. And uh, as a guitar solo, you have um, freedom to use what's called robot, rubato, where you um, can play with the, the timing a little bit, expand things. So um, I kind of try and think of it in a little phrase. La da da da, la da 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 da. La da da da, kind of more like that is what I'm looking for. So, um, just notice that as you, I'm not going to be playing it strictly in rhythm, and you know, should have noticed that when I was playing it. So, A chord. Last eighth note of that first line, you slide on your first and second fingers down. Just play the third and first strings. That's that schmaltzy uh, <laughs> transition that that uh, I grew up Southern Baptist, so I heard this song done by gospel groups as a boy, and uh, they always went to that diminished chord in there. It's not written in the Catholic or in the hymnal. 
So we're on the second line, halfway to E7. Now here's that last measure of the second line, A. Now it's written to go. And I think that's the chord structure in the hymnal. I think that's why I did that. But it sounds better to me to um, uh, second line. Now here's that measure, A. Go to the E, hit that E bass. And I'm playing the upper three strings here. I'm playing the first fret of the um, third string and the third fret of the second string and the open first string. So three strings on that instead of two. And then as written on the third line. Little hammer on there on the A. I don't know how you play your A chord, but I've always played mine with two fingers. It frees up other fingers for other things, but I use my first finger kind of coming across the top. I've got a big enough fingertip I can get, get those two down with one fingertip here. And then I put my second finger in next to it. So I hammer on with the second finger. Here, you're coming down. Now I'm getting all three strings. So you got to really be up on your fingertips on your first and second fingers here so that this um, second string, which is in the middle, doesn't get muted. Then slide, then slide on your... Well, the way I play my A, I can slide on my second finger coming up to the <coughs> fifth fret of the second string, and your third finger is on the sixth fret of the third string. So you got those same two notes that you had down here. Then you just have to lift your second finger over to the fifth fret of the first string. So lift it from the second string to the first string. And then then you're going to glissando on the second finger up to the A chord, which is on the ninth fret here. And um, it's like a D chord down here. Same fingering as a D chord, but you've, and in past videos, we've seen the D chord played on the seventh fret, which becomes a G chord. If you put it on the ninth fret, it's an A chord, which is convenient because now you've got this nice open A bass for it. So um, starting here at the last three notes of the uh, first page. And when I hit this note, uh, this chord, it's really easy. It's, it, you get a better vibrato the, the further up the neck you are. So make that sing by giving it some vibrato with the left hand. And then you slide down into that G. You slide on your second and third fingers down two frets. Kind of a passing tone. <coughs> um, and then you're on the D chord. This is uh, first finger on the fifth fret of the first string, and second and third fingers on the seventh fret of the second and third strings. And then slide. A little small sheet kind of a little uh, slide there one fret down on the first and third fingers and then then you're playing the D chord in thirds back to the A so on that let's see I try and make something out of vibrato here now here you can get a different vibrato. Let's talk vibrato for a moment. There's the classic vibrato for classical guitar with nylon strings that goes this way. Okay. Electric guitarists and steel string guitarists can get a vibrato that goes this way. You can get more, more um, bang for your buck, so just then here's a vibrato just on one note here, let's say the 10th fret of the second string. 
That's the classic vibrato. Now that'll give you a good tone on a nylon string guitar. If you play a nylon string, you only want to use this kind of vibrato. It's like a violinist or a... And, um, but if you're playing steel string, you can use... You don't want to do it too much. It sounds weird. It's you're like you're bending the string. But, um, so on this, um, on the A, use classical and then... I want to make something out of this. So I actually go kind of the steel string vibrato go this way on this one. And, uh, and then classical vibrato. No vibrato. And I slide on that. I slide that back up. I don't just... I play it on the fourth and sixth fret and slide it which makes it easy to go into a vibrato. Here I classical vibrato. And then on this last note, last eighth note in the uh, first measure there on the top of the second page. And then I glissando down on my, my uh, third finger. So I'm getting that kind of effect. So there's a lot of little fine points going on in that one measure. And that's what makes it work. Um, and I'm even doing vibrato as I lead into it at the, at the bottom of page one. And I slide. I already talked about that. So moving on now, the end of line one. Half bar on the second fret, little finger up on the fifth fret of the first string. And I even slide here, coming off the, on my third finger. Because people, when they sing it, they usually, How great thou art! Not how great thou art! I mean, you can do it either way, and either one sounds correct, but I grew up hearing people slide that, so I. How great thou art. So that's that's why I do that slide there. Into the E7. And I, I give a little vibrato on that little finger on the seventh. Uh. third line here. Now here we're going to slide up on our little finger to a B7 chord on the 7th fret. So it's just like a B7 chord down here, but we're going to... So it's nothing scary. And now I have it... It doesn't matter. I have it playing um, and then the 4th string and then the 2nd string and then the 3rd string because you're using an open string here, and if you want to go up the arpeggio, but if you just want to play thumb one, two, three on the right hand, or thumb, thumb, one, either one's fine, it doesn't matter. And then hit that, okay, and the start of the, halfway through that last, that first measure there, that E7, hit that E bass really strong. So, and then you're on your third and fourth fingers here on the ninth fret. Slide up on the third finger and play the second finger on the uh, tenth fret. And the third finger's on the eleventh fret. And then you got to make a shift. And, uh, let's see. If you have nylon strings, which I used to play this on now, so you can slide on your third finger and it, you won't get any sound because the nylon strings wound on, on the third string. You can actually slide on the steel string, but you're going to get a little bit of a squeak. 
not as much as if you were on one of the bassier strings. That can kind of help you make that shift. And then a little ending the A chord. Hammer on, on the, with the third finger here on the fourth fret of the fourth string. Hammer on. And the second finger goes down on the third fret of the second string. And I kind of pause there and then arpeggiate that last chord. I don't play those all together. So that's how I do How Great Thou Art. Um, that's all I have. I pray God blesses your playing. I look for other arrangements on liturgicalguitarist.com and I wish you peace.